Hello YouTube people, let's talk about the Spagen Design Watch. Let me tell you positive points, negative points. And at the end of the video I will show you macro compilation of this watch. Everything how it looks like to the naked eye and beyond. So let's start with positive points. So the biggest positive point I would say, you know, I will tell you a little story. Uh, whenever I buy a new watch, I show it to my wife and it's like 9 out of 10 times my wife says you that's ugly that's so ugly <laughs> like and literally it happens 9 out of 10 times she hates watches she never wears a watch and when I buy a watch she usually hates it but with this watch she saw this watch and she was like oh that's a nice watch that's a very nice watch that's a cool watch you know, <laughs> so the biggest watch critic likes this watch. That's that's huge plus point. Seriously, the person who doesn't like watches likes this watch. That's that's very big plus point. I would say. I also personally think this watch looks absolutely amazing. It's such a stunning looking watch. I just love how it looks like, and it looks kind of dressy. So I am wearing this long sleeve shirt, which is also kind of dressy. And I think this watch fits the style perfectly fine. It looks in its place and it looks impressive. Quite honestly, this watch in person, it looks impressive. Another plus point of this watch, it is cheap watch. I personally paid with shipping and all the taxes included 70 euros for this watch. And I think that's an amazing price for what you get. You get solid links, solid end links, pretty good clasp, milled clasp, which also looks amazing. And you get a sapphire crystal as well. And I actually have checked it. Let me show you real quick. Yep. And the back. No, back doesn't have sapphire, but you don't really need sapphire on the back, honestly. So, for this price, getting a sapphire crystal on the watch, it's wonderful. Another plus point, this watch actually motivated me to start making macro shots. And not all watches are good for these kind of things. Like, I wouldn't do macro shots for G-Shocks, for example, because there isn't much to show. But this watch, it looks so good. Well, it has problems on macro level, which I'm gonna discuss a little bit later. But still, overall, especially for this price, I'm super happy how it looks like on macro shots. I love it. It looks so good. It's so good. Seriously. And another quite important point, which I would like to mention, that this watch has screw down crown and the case back is also screwed, screwed down. And these things combined uh, gives you 100 meters of water resistance, which is absolutely plenty, more than you would ever need, honestly. You can submerge it into water, you can, you can swim with this watch, it's, it's awesome, amazing. But, well, yeah, this watch is cheap, but it's cheap for a reason, I would say. First thing that I have noticed when I unboxed this watch is that the rotor on the back of this watch has scratches. Not dust particles, but scratches. That's a little bit annoying, you know, because that rotor itself is very nice. Everything is very nicely brushed. It looks pretty good to the naked eye. But even with the naked eye, I see those scratches and it's, uh, such a thing with Pagani design, you know, it's a gamble. You buy a watch, and it's a gamble what kind of quality control issue you're gonna get. This time I wasn't lucky. I, I didn't win this lottery and this and this rotary scratched up. But it was annoying for a day or two. And later on I kind of forgot that. Another negative point of this watch. You know it's not expensive watch but it doesn't really feel expensive watch. Because there are several things that makes this watch feel cheap. The movement inside, when you wind it up, kind of feels a little bit grindy, like metal on, on metal grind when you wind this watch up. It doesn't feel like a very good quality movement. Another thing is, when I remove this watch from the bracelet, 
hold it in my hand and move it around. The rotor inside this watch is very noisy. It doesn't give you confidence. It feels like it's almost gonna fall off any time. <laughs> and it doesn't sound confidence inspiring. Another thing that gives you the feeling that this watch is cheap is a little bit controversial because this bracelet, solid links, solid end links, this clasp is milled, but yet it feels like it is hollow. It feels like a cheap Casio bracelet. It is very jingly jangly and it moves around quite a bit. And you know what I don't understand? Well, I wouldn't complain. 70 euros, it's everything fine, no sharp edges. I'm okay with that. Okay, it's fine. At least it's solid. But the thing is, I have another Pagani design watch. And the thing is, it has basically, well, it has the same bracelet, except this one feels very, very good in comparison. This one feels very, very cheap. And I don't understand what's, what's happening. That's just my speculation. I'm just guessing. This is 2020 model. And everything is a lot tighter. It, it feels a lot better built. And maybe Pagan design got better over time. But I don't really know. This is just my speculation. The review on this watch is coming up next. Um, by the way, I'm really happy with this watch. Several things that make this watch feel cheap. The rotor inside is very nice. The winding up mechanism for this watch feels grindy, like metal on metal. The bracelet feels... sounds cheap. It doesn't feel cheap, it sounds cheap. So these main three points that this watch feels cheap. Okay, there are other things which I am not the biggest fan of again. So I'm gonna mention those things. Lug width. Lug width is 21 millimeters. Come on, Pagani, what the hell is this? What kind of black magic is this? 21 millimeter lug width? This, the default size is 18 millimeter, 20 millimeter, 22 millimeter. Like, Orient is crazy for doing these stupid things like 19 millimeter, 21 millimeter. Please, Pagani, be smarter than Orient and please don't do this again. Don't do odd sizes. You're gonna lose clients. Because many people are looking to buy a watch and they have a huge collection of bracelets and straps already. So they are looking to the watch and, oh, this watch has 21 millimeter lug width. And I have no straps, no bracelets in my collection that are this size. Every strap and bracelet in my collection is either 20 millimeter or 22 millimeter. And quite honestly, you're gonna lose a lot of clients because you made this stupid decision with 21 millimeter lug width. Please don't do that again. You're gonna lose clients. No stupid numbers. Don't be stupid like Orient. Another thing which I have to mention, I have been wearing this watch for, I don't know, four days maybe? And I have not been doing anything physically demanding. I haven't, beating this, haven't been beating this watch around. And still, Speaking about this black coating, this watch already has scratches on it, already has wear marks. Uh, you, as you can see in this video I'm showing you currently, the clasp is a little scratched up in some places. The bracelet next to the first lugs is a little bit scratched up. So for me it's not a big deal, I don't really care personally about these things, but I just have to mention that. This black coating is probably isn't really the strongest one. So if you care about those things, please consider the clean metal variant version of this watch. Another thing, this watch is supposed to replicate the look of Tiburon. Sorry, my English is bad. I don't know how to pronounce it. So I'll just type the word on the screen. So this watch is supposed to replicate that thing. And it does very nicely, it looks like that, except it's not real. It's just the secondary hand you're seeing in that heart, open heart. Turboron supposed to spin the whole balance wheel. The balance wheel moves and it moves inside another wheel. So the big wheel turns and the balance wheel turns inside. That's how Turboron basically works. 
and this one the balance wheel is just oh, completely separate it moves around and the thing you see on the open heart on the front face of the watch is just secondary second hand basically and what i don't like is that they actually applied another seconds hand i mean one second hand is enough the big one the the light bolt one it's it's completely fine and that open heart movement looks absolutely incredible wonderful really nice but that little secondary hand second hand i'm not the biggest fan of it it a little bit breaks the design of the watch i actually had an idea of disassembling the watch and removing that little secondary hand but I don't know about that. We'll see. Maybe I will do that in the future. But that's just my point of view. I don't like that little second hand. Another little thing which I would like to mention. It's not a big deal because, well, first of all, this watch costs only 70 euros. So I shouldn't even care about that. And you aren't going to see these negative points with your naked eye anyway. But while I was doing these macro shots, I noticed there are quite a lot of dust under the glass on the watch face and on the back of the watch behind the glass a lot of dust. I, I personally don't see these dust particles with my naked eyes so it's completely irrelevant quite honestly. And quickly specifications. So the glass is sapphire, the crown is screwed down, the case back is screwed down as well, 100 meter water resistance. Uh, the thickness of this watch is 13 millimeters. From lug to lug distance is quite big. It's 50 millimeters, but it's still on my hand. It wears wears pretty nicely, as you can see in these shots. And the size of the case is 41 millimeters. And I did these measurements by myself. So the conclusion. Let's finish it up. How is this watch? Do I like it? Would I recommend it? Yeah, there are a lot of negative points, but most of these negative points aren't really that important, especially at this price point. And those positive points are very important that this watch has, and they are very strong, especially at this price point. These positive points that I have mentioned to you are very strong. So overall, conclusion, I would say this watch is absolutely amazing. I don't even complain about the scratches on the rotor. I am so impressed with this watch. It's so amazing. I love it. It's absolutely wonderful watch. Even my wife, who hates watches in general, she loves this watch. She likes this watch. It's, it's amazing. This watch is such a stunning looker. And I'm personally talking about this black variant because I haven't seen these uh, clean metal variants in person, so I cannot really tell anything about them. But this black one, for me personally, I just love how it looks like. It's such a wonderful watch. And really, for this price, 70 euros. Well, any price for under 100 euros, I would say just go for it. It's amazing watch. Take it. Just one thing. This black coating isn't very strong. It doesn't look very strong. I would say consider taking the clean metal version. This black one, I don't know. It looks amazing. I don't know how it's gonna wear out but so overall I love this watch amazing I highly recommend it buy it enjoy it have fun <laughs> so and I'm leaving you with a small compilation of macro shots of this watch I hope you will enjoy <laughs> these shots so thanks for watching guys have a nice day bye bye